Hello from Seoul. Today, we are making one of the best fried chickens in the world, KFC. Can't get fried chicken? No, it's Korean fried chicken. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. There are so many great fried chicken in the world, but I'm pretty sure you guys all agree this Korean fried chicken is one of the best. So today, I'm gonna show you 3 different versions of Korean fried chicken, which are the most popular in Korea. And with these recipes, you may not wanna go to Koreatown anymore. Alright, let's start with chicken moo, Korean pickled radish. If you have Korean fried chicken without this pickled radish, your brain will say something is missing, even though you love that. Yes, it's that important. So I'm gonna show you a super simple version. For this, you will need radish. Yeah, that's it. But it should be this kind of Korean radish or daikon. So don't even think about using a regular radish. If you make it with normal radish, it will taste bitter or weird. I told you. So if you get dumped by your girlfriend or boyfriend because you serve that weird stuff, I'm not responsible. First, cut 400 grams of radish into nice little cubes. About half an inch on each side will be perfect. To pickle this radish in a small container, put 1 cup of water, 1 cup of white vinegar, and half a cup of Sprite. And lastly, we have to use this new sugar for restaurant taste. So please add 1 tablespoon of it. Trust me, without this, you never get the taste that you might have had at Korean restaurants. At this point, some of you might think, what the heck is that? Well, it's basically the same as sweet and low that you might have seen at coffee house. And if you go to Korean supermarkets, you can easily get this, and it's less than a dollar. So please ask you will see a whole new world. Unlike your expectations, we're not gonna bring this to a boil. So once it's all combined, pour the liquid over your radish. Once that's done, cover it the lid and keep this in the fridge for at least half a day. Then you can enjoy that amazing pickled radish. Now, let's work on the chicken. Normally, for Korean fried chicken, we use a whole chicken. But to keep it simple, I'm gonna go with drumsticks. But depending on your preference, you can also go with chicken wings, breast, or even thighs. So just just use what you have in your fridge. That's the best. For Korean fried chicken, brining is the most important part. So let's make a brine for our chicken. Put a half tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder, a half tablespoon of cayenne pepper, one tablespoon of vinegar, some black pepper, three cups of water, and give that a good mix. And then into this brine, add in the chicken and mix it around. Now keep this in the fridge for at least three hours to overnight. Then you're gonna meet the best Korean fried chicken ever. What? You can't wait that long? Don't worry about it. As always, let me save your time. So this time, right onto the chicken, put 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of garlic powder, 1 teaspoon of onion powder, 1 teaspoon of chicken bouillon powder, some black pepper, a half teaspoon of MSG, and just give it a good massage. With this method, 30 minutes will be enough. So even if you have a scary hangry bird at home, like me, don't worry about it. This is gonna be your lifesaver. Next, let's talk about the batter. In Korean supermarkets or Amazon, they sell this amazing stuff, which is called Korean chicken fry mix. And with this bad boy, you can get the beautiful restaurant quality fried chicken. What? You can get this? Then combine 2 cups of cake flour, 1 cup of potato starch, and a pinch of salt. As long as you keep this ratio, you'll be fine. So don't worry about it. In a separate bowl, add 1 cup of chicken powder mix, 1 cup of cold water, and give that a good whisk. And then into this batter, just add all the chicken and stir them around to get them nice and coated. Once that's done, take out a large food container that has a lid and put 2 cups of chicken powder mix and spread it out. After that, place your chicken one by one and make sure they don't stick together. Now, all you gotta do is just sprinkle some more powder over your chicken and shake it. That's it. What? You don't have a container like this? Then just put them in a large plastic bag and do the same thing. The 
will totally work. Alright, our chicken is ready to be fried. Let's get cooking. Fill up the pot with enough oil and heat it to 170 degrees Celsius or 340 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it reaches the temperature, carefully drop it in. And we're gonna fry them for 5 minutes. Depending on the size of your pot or the amount of your chicken, it's okay to do this in batches. So no problem at all. When time's up, take them out and let them rest just a little bit. What? It doesn't look like the one from Korean restaurants? Don't worry about it. They're not fully cooked yet. We still have some journey ahead of us. So to get them nice and golden, let's do the second fry. Change the heat to medium high heat and wait until it reaches 180 degrees Celsius or 355 degrees Fahrenheit. Once it reaches the temperature, add in the chicken all at once and let them fry for another 4 to 5 minutes or until golden brown. Trust me, this secret double fry technique will bring it to the next level. Alright, looks like it's done. Let's take them out and let it rest on a cooling rack. This way, the excess oil will drain off and give you that light and crispy texture. After that, just transfer it to a serving plate. How does it look? It looks absolutely delicious, right? Alright, let's go to our taste tester. Claire? Woo! Korean fried chicken! Who can say no to Korean fried chicken? Definitely not me! Bikkal <laughs> 봐라! 완벽한 골드 브라운이네. 보기만 해도 벌써 바삭한 게 느껴진다. 한번 먹어볼까? Look at this crispy batter. Ready? Wow, looks super juicy and tender. 겉에 반죽이 너무 너무 바삭해서 약간 과자 먹는 느낌이야 거의 그 수준으로 엄청 바삭바삭거려. 그리고 따로 소금이나 그런 거에 찍어 먹지 않아도 될 정도로 간이 완벽하게 잘 됐네. 음 맛있다. This time, let me try the beauty of Korean fried chicken. This pickled radish. 얼마나 잘했는지 보겠어. 음 기가 막히게 똑같은 사이즈로 잘 만들었네. 음, 음 let's see. <laughs> Let me try it. Mmm. <laughs> wow. Mm. Wow. 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 똑같다. 음, 크리스피하고 맛있고 다 좋은데 그래도 치킨은 반반이 국물 아니야? 양념 치킨을 가져와라. <laughs> As Claire says, to fully enjoy this, we need the beautiful signature Korean fried chicken sauce. So using this Korean chili paste and soy sauce, let me show you two types of sauces. I think the owners of Korean fried chicken places are really gonna hate me. So you guys have to protect me, alright? The first one is the red spicy sauce. In a mixing bowl, put 1.5 tablespoons of Korean chili paste, 5 tablespoons of ketchup, 2 tablespoons of soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of Korean chili pepper flakes, 3 tablespoons of sugar, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, 8 tablespoons of corn syrup, 3 tablespoons of water, and give it a good mix. Now pour that into a nonstick pan and bring it to a boil over medium heat for about 3 to 4 minutes. Yes, we could have just added to the pan, but don't worry about it. Claire's gonna do the dishes. Once it comes to a boil, turn the heat off. That's it. So easy, right? Now, depending on your preference, you can serve it in a separate bowl and dip it in the sauce. But let me show you the authentic way. Pour the sauce all over the chicken and gently coat them with the sauce thoroughly. Yeah, this is the stuff. Now, all you need to do is transfer it to a serving plate and finish it up with any kind of crushed nuts you like. Alright, it's done. Let's see how it tastes. Claire? <gasps> oh my gosh! Look at how gorgeous! I love little details here! <laughs> Let me grab one. <laughs> Look at how gorgeous! Sticky sauce! Wow! Mm. Okay, let me try it. Mm. 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 입에 저는 좀 묻었을 것 같아. 이거 먹을 땐 예쁜 건 살짝 포기하고 먹어야 될것 같아. <웃음> 
맛있는 걸 어떻게 그냥 포기하고 먹어야지. <웃음> You may think it's too spicy because of the color, but actually it's not. So don't worry about it. I'm sure you can handle it. So please give it a try. So good. The next one is honey soy sauce. In a small container, put 4 tablespoons of soy sauce, 6 tablespoons of honey, 1 tablespoon of oyster sauce, 1 tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic, half a cup of water, 1 dry chili, and give it a good stir. Again, place it over medium heat. And once it comes to a boil, it's done. Just like the spicy one, you can put the chicken in a bowl and toss them in the sauce. But if possible, I highly recommend using a brush this time. Because this way, it's gonna stay crispy for a long time. Alright, it's done. Let's go to our taste tester. Claire? <laughs> 그래, 치킨 and 맥주지. Now we can talk. <laughs> 아까도 줬어야지. 에이, 정말. <laughs> I'm so ready. Let me try. 어째 더 맛있어 보이는 것 같다. 통통해지고. 음, 음, 음. 와, 육즙 폭발이다. 음, 음, 음. 와, 진짜 맛있다. 소스가 간장 소스이긴 한데 너무 과하지 않고 되게 잘 어울리네. 스위브리 향 맛도 나는데 약간의 그 꿀의 향도 나는 것 같고 치킨이랑 너무 잘 어울려. 사실 첫 번째 치킨도 그냥 먹기에 너무 완벽한 간이었거든? 그래서 혹시라도 이 소스를 하면 좀 짜지는 거 아닌가 생각은 했거든. 근데 전혀 그렇지 않네. 어. You know what? I've been waiting for this. This whole entire time. Cheers! I think Aaron stole some of it. <웃음> 오늘 